Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok as El Ducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoy this video. All right, today I am back with part two of my 300 pound haul. There's so much clothes. <laughs> so if you haven't seen part one yet, go back, check out that haul and enjoy. But I guess let's get into the second part. So I've got two big Hulkin bags here. Let me show you what they look like. If I can lift it. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's one. This is the large size Hulkin. Um, actually, they're both in large size Hulkins. And I have so much stuff. You may have heard me say in part one that I get bins amnesia or just thrift amnesia. I think some of you can relate to that. Like once you leave the Goodwill outlet or the thrift store, you just can't even remember what you purchase anymore. That's where I'm at today. So we're going to be both like enjoying this haul together. <laughs> okay, with all that said, I just ate some grapes. I'm kind of worried there's something in my teeth, but whatever. First item is this sweater. It's from the brand 525 America which I'm pretty sure this brand, isn't it 525 Cashmere as well? Somebody correct me if they know differently than I do, but or am I thinking of 360 Cashmere? But don't they have, maybe I'm thinking, maybe 525 America just does some Cashmere sweaters. Regardless, um, I have sold this brand in the past, so, and it has sold well for me. So I was excited to see this piece. Um, fun. It reminds me of like Sorbet. So anyway, there's that. I have no idea what size it was. Small, medium, it looked like something along those lines. Next is something pink. Free people? I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it could be free people. Yeah, you know, you just see that boho style. So there is the tag there. This is a size extra small women's dress, kind of like a peachy pink color. And it's tiered, if you can see it here, probably about a midi, almost a maxi length. Um, very dainty looking. It's got these braided straps and then it's a little bit strappy in the back here. There are some loose strings. I don't know if there was something, some sort of like embellishment on here that's maybe come off. But in the meantime, I will trim those up. And then there is, thank goodness, a belt that is still attached and not like loose and something that I've already lost. Okay, next is something else that's pink. This is the brand, what is this? Audrey? Audrey, it says three plus one. I don't know, I comp everything when I leave the bin, so it must have been good, but here it is. I think it's a romper, it's real fun. I know you might be thinking, well, summer's over and you know the season or time has passed for these sort of items, but the truth is, sorry, I'm just tying the little bows here, is that it really hasn't, people are always buying stuff for different vacations. I had some people in the comments of my last video, so shout out to you if you commented, just that people are always taking trips and going on vacations and so they always kind of need outfits like this. Not to mention a great reason to sell on platforms like eBay where they do ship internationally, so I do have an international market. Okay, next item, I think it's marine layer. It's marine layer. <laughs> there we go. I, I do remember one of the items. Okay, that little loose string is gonna bother me. So I'm just gonna cut that right now. To be honest with you, I'm like, is this a men's or a women's? Because I feel like I've sold both men's and women's marine layer items. But being that this says size medium and it looks like it would fit me, makes me think that this is probably a men's. Um, it does, it sells well for me. If you haven't sold marine layer before and you see it in store, definitely check comps. It might be something that you want to pick up. Next I have, oh, a pair of Joe's jeans. You know, every time I think like, mm, no, like Joe's jeans, I don't know about that. No, they're actually like a solid pickup for me. They do well, especially the men's ones, which I can't, I can't tell. I think these are men's. I don't know. They say waist 33, slim fit. Sometimes they have the style name here. It says the AJ. I don't know. <laughs> it could be men's or women's. I'm going to go ahead and say, I think these are a men's. And to be honest, I started picking up the men's because my husband likes Joe's jeans. And so I think a lot of times this can be really beneficial just in reselling, especially when people get started, is to just pull from what you know. Like you and I already know a bunch of stuff about a lot of different things in life. And so just pull from the things that you have experience with and everything else you kind of learn as you go. So that's my little two cents there. 
Okay, next is, ooh, something very sexy. <laughs> this is, I think Victoria's Secret is my guess. Yeah, given this tag here. And this is a size medium, but it's this cute little bodysuit. And I think maybe I'll give this a steam because I think it'll hang a little bit nicer. I don't know, so maybe it's not so bad. I don't know, maybe it'll hang a little bit nicer if I give that a little steam. I do pick up Victoria's Secret items from time to time. Again, it just kind of depends on what the item is. I saw a TikTok recently where they were talking about back in the day at Victoria's Secret. Do you remember? You're my age if. <laughs> you remember the water bras that they used to sell at Victoria's Secret? I don't know if other retailers or whatever sold them as well, but I just remember I had one from Victoria's Secret. I don't even think it was mine. Like I almost think a friend gave it to me. Like it was used to be theirs. I'm TMI here. But anyways, we used to wear water bras. Isn't that so funny? They don't make them anymore, do they? Maybe they do. Okay, next is this Torrid top. I think that says size six, which is gonna be a 6X. Uh, Torrid does vanity sizing. So yeah, I mean, it pretty much converts in terms of, you know, if it's gonna be a three, then it's a 3X, but it's just something, something to know. All right, next I have a dress. And okay, this is Abercrombie & Fitch. I'm guessing that's a small petite, it says SP. But sometimes it just, that means like like small. But it's real cute, it's real short too. So maybe the petite part makes sense. Um, it's in really nice condition, of course, darker garment. You know, I washed it with the pear wall detergent, which they don't pay me to talk about, but I still talk about it anyways. It's a product that I love and swear by. If you have darker colored garments, anything black, gray, navy blue, and it's starting to fade or you buy it from the thrift store and it's faded, um, you can, put it in the wash with the pear wall detergent and I'm telling you it's magic I, I'm gonna let you find out for yourself everybody who has purchased it who has reported back to me has loved it so if you're curious I'll link it down below in the description okay next is oh April Cornell I don't know I just thought this dress was kind of cute I don't know if it's vintage it says size extra large it just kind of felt a little I don't know what it felt like but it just felt like something I wanted to grab. It is like, um, again, like a midi maxi length. I don't know. What do you guys think of it? I know there were two April Cornell pieces when I was there that day at the bins. I want to be like, this is the only one I brought home. But to be honest with you, we might find the other one in here. But I think I only bought one of them. Okay, next is another toured piece. This is a dress. Is a size 2X, just this real cute floral, uh, what do you call cold shoulder? <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. Cold shoulder mini dress. Again, you know, we're not entering the season for this sort of dress, but people are always looking for an occasion piece. Okay. Next we have, okay, this brand I never heard of either, but I, I picked it up for print. I feel like I also comped it too, but I picked it up for print <laughs> and it's called uh, Next Beachwear. So comment about, down below if you know anything about this brand. It's a size 14, maybe I thought about it for myself. It's a little off the shoulder, it's got stretch here. Um, knee length, I think it's like almost a cover up or something, but it's real cute. The colors are super vibrant. Again, you wanna talk about the parallel detergent, I'm just saying. There's also a red bottle and a white bottle. The white bottle, I keep telling you for like a year now that I'm gonna report back to you on my true feelings on it. Well, I don't have true feelings other than I can't fully recommend it yet. But the red bottle, yes. The red bottle, if you have faded red, orange, just colorful garments, wash it with parallel. I'm telling you, you will be shocked and amazed. So anyways, that one is real cute for print. I think I maybe thought about getting it for myself, but here we are. It's at, it made it to the warehouse, so it's getting sold. Okay, next is this free people size small. I think that's what it says. No, zero. Close enough, extra small. Uh, little camisole thing, if I can figure it out. How's it supposed to go? <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. That's real cute. Oh, I love this. Just this baby pink color with the pastels of the blue and the purple. Oh, I like this, this is so cute. Anyways, I like picking up free people. I think somebody there that day was asking me what brands I like to pick up and I was like, all the brands. Any brands that sell and make money, those are my favorite brands, which is still a true statement. Um, but I like I like selling free people because people like it and it brings attention to your closet. Okay, this is, I think it's Faherty. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. 
let me find the tag. I think I doubted myself on picking this up because I just wasn't sure about the comps and I was like, eh, let me just bring it home anyways. Well, lo and behold, I sold a Faherty sweater today for $35. I think it was $35 and I haven't had it that long. So this is a size double XL. I'm like, is it a men's or a women's? Shoot, I can't tell because it kind of looks like it would fit me. So I'm thinking it's a women's. Chime in if you know. I'm gonna, I have boxes down here where I separate out women's, men's and children's. So I just threw it in the women's. <sighs> we'll find out. Okay, next is this cute little Hannah Anderson girls swimsuit. <laughs> I love picking up girl stuff. This is a size 130 and I can't remember what a 130 is off the top of my head. I want to say it's like maybe a, I want to say seven, but then also I'm like a 10. Let me know if you know what 130 is. It, my son is no longer in that stage anymore. So I don't remember like <laughs> what the sizing is on those. Okay. Another free people item. This is we the free. You can barely see the uh, imprint there. It's size extra small. Just a lightweight, what is it, burnout, long sleeve tee. I mean, I don't expect big money for this, but again, just free people items that will bring attention to the closet or store, if you will. Oh, I've got another loose string there. I'm guessing this is torrid, yeah. This is a size 1X and it is torrid and I love this. Look at this, what is that, like a Kelly green? I think it's like a Kelly green with this multi-layer tier. This is actually really cute. If it were maybe summer, I would maybe keep it, but it is not, and so I won't. Next, I have some jeans, two pairs of Seven for All Mankind. Do I still pick up this brand? I guess I do, because here we are with two pairs, but you'll see why I grabbed these in just a second. Um, these are a size, what are you? Oh my gosh, they tore it out. How rude. They try out the sizing here, but these are the A pocket. And there you go. So this A pocket is kind of fun. So I am old enough that I purchased this, the dojos and which is the sevens on the back pocket. Uh, and also an A pocket jean when they first came out back in the early aughts. My A pocket jeans, I think had the pink rhinestone on them. So I think this is actually really fun. It's like green, different shades of green. I think this one is really cute. Uh, in terms of sizing, because I do have a tape measure here on my desk, these are measuring uh, at a 32 inch waist. So if you're curious, and they're they're in good condition. I was just looking at the, the hem, the ankle opening. What would you call this? Ankle opening? Opening? <laughs> so that's just something you wanna look for when you're thrifting items as well, is just like, uh, you know, because in the heat of the moment, especially when you shop at the Goodwill outlet, you can kind of miss those sort of things. Okay, the other pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans are these. I don't know what style they are, but I'll look in a second. Once again, they are rhinestone, but look at the coloring. I love it. They're so cute. Uh, these are the Kate, and they're a size 27. These are really cute. I really like these. Okay, what else do I got in here? I like lift, lifting a few out at a time. Feels nice, doesn't feel overwhelming. Okay, excuse me. Next I have a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. This is the Cozy, uh, excuse me, Bamboo Chic Light, size small, medium. I actually have this one at home in a medium large, I believe is what I have. I think I have it in a gray and a black. Uh, these are so soft and com cozy, comfy. If you've never owned one, great Christmas present. Seriously, like I'm not saying you have to buy mine, but like, buy one for somebody in your life or treat yourself and get yourself one. Uh, you can usually tell by touch, which is another reason why I don't like or don't prefer to wear gloves at the bins or the outlet. People <laughs> on TikTok recently, people have been commenting and saying stuff like, ew, gross, that I don't wear gloves, saying stuff about scabies and all sorts of different stuff like that. I mean, I've been shopping at the outlet for a while. It's not been an issue. And I've been shopping there going on six, seven years now. So it's not an issue, but if you know, you're offended by like the touch of certain things, then yeah, like wear gloves, but you're not going to be able to feel certain textures in the heat of the moment when you're kind of going, going ham in a bin. Okay. 
Madewell pants. This is another brand that I like selling as well. These ones are cropped and I have to assume that these are linen. Super cute. I'm gonna retie this bow here. Madewell is, is another one that I like selling. I mean, there are some lower end Madewell pieces that certainly exist and I'm sure I will have a few here to show you today. Um, but I like their dresses and I like these pants. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know. I like, you know, if it makes money, those are the things I like to sell. Okay, these are a pair of uh, Lane Bryant shorts. Definitely a newer tag style for Lane Bryant. I'm not sure that I've seen this one as often. Size 14, 16. Again, I have to imagine these are a linen blend, just kind of given the feel of them. Real cute. Once again, my size, I'm like, hmm. I could really build a nice wardrobe here today. Look at this, another marine layer piece. Okay, so this one looks like a women's. It says size large, and they're a pair of pants. Dun, dun, dun. I think I first kind of really learned about this brand. Again, I don't know if this is linen. It kind of feels like it, maybe a linen blend. Learned about this brand when I consigned some clothing for my brother. I should reach out to my brother and see if he has any clothes that he wants me to consign again for him, because that kind of worked out nicely. For me um no for him also i gave him actually a really generous split i think i i don't think i hardly took anything maybe like 30 percent yeah after like fees and everything like that so pretty nominal but if you go back and search my videos <laughs> maybe if i can remember i will link it down below in the description or put a card here somewhere um to go check out i did two consignments for him and there were just some really great brands so if you're not familiar with men's brands and you want to learn some my brother like ha he has a not like designer taste but like on the high end taste like clothes that i couldn't afford to buy so there's that let's just say that uh, i can only afford to buy them if they're at the goodwill outlet okay here is a bowden skirt love picking up bowden still a solid pickup for me this one's a size us 10 l and yeah, just a cute little knee length skirt. Do not forget that on the inside tag, there is a style number. So it just makes it really easy for looking up items. What is this, like the linen pile? I Yeah, like everything is linen here. <laughs> okay, so this is an Eileen Fisher. I don't know if it's a jacket or a top. Size large. This is real cute. I wonder if my mom would want this. I don't know if it'll fit me. You know, all the times that I say, if you've been around for a while, you know all the times that I've said, my mom doesn't watch my videos. Sometimes she does, like recently she has. So I don't know if I can get away with saying that anymore, you guys. This is actually really cute. You know, here's the thing. If I show this to my mom or if she's watching this video, my mom will say, it looked cute on you. You should keep it. And it's like, I don't want to, this is not, it's not my style, but it would look cute on you, mom. Um, <laughs> maybe I should set this to the side. All right, I'll set it to the side for her because uh, she loves yellow. So this might be a nice color for her. She and I have been going on walks in the morning. Here's a little part of my personal life as I take this jacket off. Uh, yeah, it's been really nice, uh, good for her health and my health. But yeah, we go on walks in the morning. I drop off my son at school and I head over to her place and we have a little QT. So I woke up this morning and did that and I'm pretty darn tired, you guys. I won't lie to you. <laughs> okay, next item is a skirt. I'm trying to like button it and do all this stuff before I lift it up, but I know you're not watching the screen because that's what 90% of you tell me is that you're listening to me in the background, which I love that I get to keep you company because you actually keep me company. Um, as I sort through this stuff, I had to do it anyways. I'm just like turn on a camera and I'm talking while I do it. So it's a win for both of us. Okay, so this is a anthropology tag. I don't even know what this brand is, you guys. If you wanna look up, now would be the time. It says ETT, and then there's another tag here that says like TUA, Etua? That's just my guess. Uh, size zero, you know, after a while, you can kind of start to recognize these anthropology pieces just given their tags. I was trying to find the inner care tag, but let's forget about it, guys. Anyways, it's a skirt, I, I don't know. Does Is this the front? And then there's some pockets. It's not for me to understand, it's just for me to sell. So fine by me. I think it was a size zero if I didn't say that. Okay, what else do we have here? These are a pair of jeans. Oh, these are a pair of good American jeans, size 14 slash 32, I think is what it says. 
you know, I found a couple pairs of Good American jeans at the bins recently and man, they sell so quick. So these are black and skinny. You know, don't let anyone tell you that skinny jeans are over and done for. Look how rich this black is. Look, look at the coloring. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Like your garments will not be faded if you use the pair well. Okay, don't let people tell you that skinny jeans are over and out. They might be for right now and that's fine, but it's alive and well in my store. So I sell skinny jeans all the time, no problem. Uh, this is a Torah jacket. Okay, this is cute. This is a size two. I actually think I have this jacket <laughs> in a different color. No, the one I have is a little bit shorter. And okay, it's not a bad fit on me. It's a little roomy. Um, I've lost a little bit of weight recently. Kind of exciting. Um, so it's actually a little bit roomy on me. So that's you know, something to be happy. That's a win for me. But anyways, this is really cute. It kind of gives me like Sergeant Pepper's vibes with uh, these buttons on the front here. Oh, it's missing a button though, but that's okay. I wonder if, oh, actually it's trimmed up pretty nice. I was gonna say, do I need to trim it up to make it look less obvious? But anyway, just a cute little hooded jacket and you know, I'll take a little bit less cause it's gonna have to be priced for missing the button. You know what's funny though is like, I think the jacket, I have the same jacket at home or a similar one. It has these same buttons. I'm almost like, I know there was extra buttons. What did I do with the buttons? Did I give you the button, Liz? My friend Liz, who does my repairs. Sometimes she watches my videos. So I'm just talking straight through the screen to her. Okay, another linen item. I think this is flax. Okay, so this is a flax piece. Love selling this brand. This would definitely fall under the category of lag and look, just like Eileen Fisher would fall under a lag and look, just like Magnolia Pearl. Hello, that's a big one. <laughs> just like, there's a million different brands. But anyways, uh, yeah, this one is, I thought it was like gonna be in not as nice condition, but this one's actually in pretty good condition. It's a size medium and that's kind of all I have to say about it. You know, can be big money just depends on your piece. Uh, this is a Bonobos men's button down shirt. It's a size extra large. Why did I correct myself or say that it's a button down? If there is a button here on the neckline, this is considered a button down. So if there's not one here on the collar in this spot, um, then it's a button up. So fun fact, if you didn't know that. Now, does it matter? No, <laughs> if you put button up, or if I put button up and I very well might in the title of that item, it's not gonna matter. Nobody's, no one's gonna fact check you on it, right? Just like we all say fit and flare dress and it might not be fit and flare. Okay, next is another anthropology item. How do you pronounce it? Flory, Flory, Flory? I don't know. Um, this is a little, what do you wanna call it? Jumpsuit, sorry, I'm just cutting some of these strings here real quick. It is, but it's like short. I don't know, these ones I call, <laughs> if you've been here a while, that's how you know. Please let me know if you've heard me say this before because that's how I know you've been here for, for a while. I call these like the flying squirrel jumpsuits because they just look like a flying squirrel would wear this. <laughs> and I love these, so take no offense by that statement. I love a flying squirrel jumpsuit. They're so comfy and cozy, but that's just what they remind me of. Okay, next is a Lulu's dress, just a simple little blue off the shoulder. I think there's a belt that goes with it, but I don't know where it is. Maybe this one didn't have the belt. I know that there was like a dress that had a belt. Uh, that's a size small, in case you're curious. Next is another Eileen Fisher piece. It's inside out, but you guys get the point. Um, Eileen Fisher woman. So this is a plus size piece. Unfortunately, the tag is cut out. So we'll just have to do a little size estimations there. Um, tunic, dress, I don't know. It's certainly long enough. It's like knee length. So I guess this could be considered a dress. Since it is inside out, just even on the inside here, I can feel quite a bit of pilling. So I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna depill it tomorrow. I'm not gonna depill it tonight because I don't have time for that. Okay, next is another marine layer item. These are a pair of pants. I just got a piece of dust in my eyes, sorry guys. <laughs> these, are, these are a men's, but here's the bummer. I didn't realize, they're 36, 32, that there was a hole in the back. 
Now, the good news is that it's on the seam. So to my friend Liz, if you are watching, Liz, I'm gonna put this in the repair pile and I don't know. You can take a look and you can tell me if you think that it's repairable. I mean, certainly we can patch it, but it's like, you know, at some point it, I have to kind of decide and Liz decides as well, like what's worth it and what's kind of not worth it. So yeah, maybe that one's not worth it. Okay, more clothes, oh Lord. We're almost through one Hulkin bag. <laughs> okay, next up is a pair of Spanx, and these are Spanx skinny jeggings, and these are a size large. I feel like since Skims came on the scene, Spanx is like not as big as it used to be, because I feel like there wasn't, personally, I feel like for mainstream shapewear, there wasn't something else that kind of com was competing with Spanx until Skims came along, which maybe would explain why, um, gosh, I'm forgetting her name. The founder of Spanx eventually sold the company. Yeah, what's her name? Sarah, oh, it'll come to me later. Anyways, moving on. Next, we've got another free people item. These are a size two pair of pants. They're real cute. But I think I might give these a little a little steam session because they're kind of wrinkly and and they're cute and I want them to present in the best way that they can. I'm just creating more work for myself here. Uh, this I got super excited over. If you know, you know. This is a Filson flannel. Dun da da da. Uh, men's size medium. Yeah, definitely bank this tag. You got three more seconds to look up. They uh, Filson items sell for quite a bit of money. I think they retail for at least 100, 200. I don't know, when I did pick up these Filson, Filson items this past couple weeks, and I posted on Instagram, somebody told me like one of their best flips was a Filson item that sold for over a grand. So yeah, would love for that to be <laughs> the same sort of sale, but not sure that's gonna happen. Okay, I've got another Bowden piece here. This is a US 6R, and it's just a cute little dress with a little cap sleeve, got some pockets in the front, all the things that we love and enjoy about a dress. Okay, next we have, is this Athleta? I think it is. The tag is just, looks like somebody chewed on it. Um, so I'm not gonna bother showing you, but it's a size extra small and just a little hoodie. But tis the season for working out in layers. You know, some people like to work out outside. Hey, I just told you I'm going on walks now. So throw me into that bucket. Okay, sorry, I got cut off. But anyways, uh, zipper pull, there is one here, but it's kind of sketchy. Anyways, we'll just have to take a little bit less because the zipper pull is like almost non-existent, but it does zip. Okay, throwing that over there. Okay, here's the dress that had the little belt. And it is a Trina Turk dress. This is the second Trina Turk item that I found recently at the outlet. This is a size large. This is so cute. I'm like, ooh, what about for me? Um, I'm gonna loop the belt in here right now. You know, does Trina Turk always sell the best for me? No, but do I still like picking it up? Yes. <laughs> so it just, you know, I don't know why. It kind of just reminds me of like some of the older Turk. Trina Turk pieces remind me of like Palm Springs and and for that reason I just have a soft spot because I love Palm Springs. I recently was there in August. I posted a video on my second channel. If you follow me over there you can see the lovely vacation rental that we stayed at and all the fun we had and all the food we ate. Okay another great lag and look brand. This one does have a flaw but I just want to show you the tag is Bryn Walker. The sizing information is hidden under the tag here. Um, there is a little tear here on the neckline, but you know, I find with certain brands, even if items are flawed, and I'm sorry, it's just a cropped little blouse top, that people still, they don't care, <laughs> or they'll repair it themselves. It's just not a deal breaker for them, and that's fine with me. Um, this is a Pendleton men's button up. Yep, it's a button up because there's no button on the collar. Shirt, I don't know, I don't have much to say about that piece. Okay, next is, oh, this one, I think I already showed you guys this in another haul, so I'm just gonna put that 
down there. It's just a t-shirt. And this I actually thrifted for myself and I just, I don't know, I'm not gonna wear it, so I'll sell it. So it's Gap, of course, all the nicest items for me. Uh, it's a size 16 and it's just, you know, another like jumpsuit, flying squirrel sort of outfit, kind of gauzy looking. I'm, I'm just not gonna wear it. The season is changing. I also like don't love the idea of like wearing a one piece and then having to like undo the whole thing every time I have to go to the bathroom. You know what I'm talking about. It's a real issue. Okay, uh, to finish off bag one, we still have bag two, is a Lululemon cardigan. This one's a size six, and lo and behold, it actually has its whole CVS receipt tag in there. Um, this is really cute. Oh, I like this. If you saw one of, oh, there's a little hole here, but we'll just disclose that flaw. If you saw one of my recent hauls, I think I posted it here or on TikTok, I can't remember. But it was a Lululemon jumpsuit that ended up selling for quite a bit of money on Poshmark. But I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. Like I want to say like 80. And I sold pretty quickly within like a week, I think. Okay, this is just a kid's jacket that I found at the bins. I mean, it's all from the bins, but uh, it's a size extra large, 14, 16. It's new at tags. I'm not going to not pick up a nice coat. Okay, we'll toss that down there. Next we have some sort of dress. Oh, this is, I think it's a, a dress, skirt. Uh, Co-op exclusively for Barney's New York. And here's what it looks like. I think it's a dress, cause it's kind of, yeah, it's like elastic around here. It's actually real cute, but it needs to be steamed. So I'm gonna steam that. It feels like silk. I'm gonna guess that it's silk. Okay, what is this? Mm. Here is another Pendleton item. It's a blazer. Uh, the thing I looked look for, and I think I looked for when I was at the bins, was just any like moth holes because this is a sort of garment that I imagine is sitting in somebody's closet, you know, for a lot of the year or for possibly a long time. So just double check for those things when you're picking them up. Um, oh, this was... If you saw my last haul, you saw all that new Tags Target stuff that I got. This is just a pair of Seattle Mariners um, pajama bottoms. I think I thought about giving them to my nephew, but then they're too small. So I'm gonna have to sell them. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Okay, next up is this Zara wool coat. A lot of times I notice that people don't pick up co coats at the outlet. I mean, it is more expensive. I do pay $1.99 per pound plus tax. However, um, then they sell for a bit more money. So I don't know. I don't know why people don't do it, but they don't do it. So this one's a US size large. Okay, twist my arm, I'll try it on. <laughs> it already feels too small. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna look crazy. I don't wanna try to button it up. But anyways, uh, it needs a good lint rolling. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and take care of that. <sighs> All right, next I have this free people piece that is like so interesting. I don't even know you guys. Okay, let's try and figure this out together. It's a size medium, but you know free people, like this looks like it would fit me, okay? It like a pon poncho, look at the neck dip here. I'm like, is it supposed to tie together? I don't know. And then there's a hood and then there's like jingly little bells on the sleeves. <laughs> Whatever it is, I hope this person has an amazing time going to their event. Yeah, I, I don't have much else to say about it other than like, enjoy. It's soft, it's actually really, really soft. So to free people's credit, they nailed that. Okay, this is, I don't even know what this brand is, you guys. But I think I looked it up, Hotavelli? I don't know. I have no idea. It's cute. Okay, here's the front. Here's the big open back. Does it have, okay, we've got the ties to close it. It's a mini, I don't know. I don't remember comping it. Hotovelli, H-O-T-O-V-E-L-I. I think that's what it said. If you know what that is, please share with the class. Okay, God, there's so much random stuff in here. Here is a Hollister skirt. I think I was gonna add this to my Play-Doh's pile. So it is new with tags, originally $50. This is real tiny. <laughs> This is a size extra small. So that's gonna go into my, I eventually will take stuff to Plato's closet pile. This is a cute little shirt. 
what is this? Size 18 months. Maybe I got it for my friend who has, my friend Tiffany, who has a baby. I don't know. I'll set that over there. This, I don't know what this is. It's a little scarf. No. Yeah, like a little handkerchief. Oh, J.M. Thompson. Okay, so I looked this up. J.M. Thompson handkerchief. Um, comps were actually pretty solid on that. So I, yeah, I grabbed it. You know, it's always the most random stuff. Yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love buying little things. There we go. Squeaky wheel about that. Uh, how fun is this vintage dress? <laughs> Look at the color of this. I mean, this is just amazing. Who remembers this sort of material? Uh, there is, I mean, it looks like it's homemade. And then there's these snaps here on the back. I'm guessing maybe there was like a bow or something that snapped on the back here. I didn't see it at the outlet if it was there. Uh, I think that a seam ripper could take this off pretty nicely, maybe. And so that's my plan for it. It does say made exclusively by blah, 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 whoever made it, this dress. So I'm gonna set that to the side. Uh, next I have, I think this is a men's, Zara size small bomber jacket, real cute. It does need a little bit of a depilling. So again, got my work cut out for me, added to the list of things that I need to accomplish here in a day. <laughs> Does anyone ever have like a list that just feels never ending that you're like, I'm never going to accomplish everything that's on here. Like I could never possibly do all my list in one day because that's how I feel. <laughs> so I just try, I try and attack things one small bite at a time, right? What's the, what's the saying? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? That's me every day when I come in here to the warehouse. I'm just like, I got to do it one bite at a time. Uh, made well blouse, size medium. Love this navy blue. It's got these tiered uh, sleeves here on the side. That's really fun. Floral. Okay. This dress is, needs a tag cut off. It is a Ted ba Baker dress. It is super cute. And this minty green. Look at that. So fun. Um, <clears throat> it's in really nice condition. I think I don't see anything. Maybe a little spot there. Uh, it's a size one. So Ted Baker does vanity sizing. So you'll just need to find out the equivalent of that. If I had to guess off the top of my head, this is probably a small. I'm guessing a, a one for them is a small. Oh, I hit my hand. Okay, let me show you this. What's this item? A bra, a very large bra. Yeah, not for me, but somebody. Uh, Third Love, I'm pretty sure that they make some expensive bras because I feel like I hear them on like podcast advertising or something like that. This is a size 42F. In general, what I have learned about bras is that the smaller the band and the larger the cup size, those sell, in my experience, well. Also, brand of bra does factor into it, but um, apparently it's harder to find. I've had comments from people who watch my channel, et cetera, or follow me on Instagram or whatever. And they say that that's why it's more in demand is because those sizes are harder to find. So just a little tip I'm passing on there for you. You know, you stay to the end of the video, you get, you get the hot tips. Okay. This is a BB Dakota dress. It's size small. It is new with tags, originally $98. Um, I feel like they sell this at Revolve now, which is surprising, right? Um, I think I've been surprised by that myself. You'd be surprised what Revolve sometimes sells. Like ASTR, shocked me. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Okay, this brand, you know, when I, when I bought it from the bins, I feel like I looked it up and in this moment, I couldn't tell you what the comps are. So here's what the tags looks like. If you wanna look, it says Honor, um, but they just look really nice and kind of fancy. So I did buy them. They feel like silk, but I'm not sure. There's a tag in here. Sorry, guys. I got a little bit of a runny nose here. Viscose, and then the binding is 100% silk. What does the binding mean? The binding. I feel like that's probably obvious, but I'm just not getting it in this moment. Uh, so anyways, I will do some more research on that. There's also a little bit of a loose button, and if those are nice, then I can. we can sew a button. <laughs> we can put a little extra elbow work into it. Okay, I've got another men's blazer here. Uh, this one is Yves Saint Laurent, and I don't know what size it is, but I will probably actually send this to, probably actually, will probably actually 
send that off to the real real so they can sell it. And if they don't want it, they can send it right on back to me. <laughs> okay, and then I'll sell it. I just sold a Burberry blazer this morning that I had sent to the real real. They didn't want it. They sent it back to me. I sold it. Okay, Pendleton blazer. Just another Pendleton blazer. I think this one's wool. Nothing crazy or special. And last but not least, this is something that's going to need repair. Um, but my friend Liz has just been amazing at repairing mesh. I know that sounds really difficult, but it is possible. So I saw this dress. It's a really heavy knit and it's got this mesh panel here at the top. There wasn't a tag. So I went on the inside and looked up, I think the RN number. No, I didn't even have to do that. Bailey 44. So if you don't see a tag on the neckline, always check the inside because there might be some more information there. You know, don't just knee jerk throw items back because they might be worth keeping so that's my haul you guys oh my gosh i can't believe we did it all and now i have like what did i set 30 garments to the side that i need to take care of huh i thought washing it was hard enough so anyways thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you in my next one bye